Ever hit the gas and your car just stumbles, like it can't decide if it wants to move or nap? Or maybe the idles all over the place for no reason. Those are classic signs your throttle position sensor, or TPS, might be going bad. Don't worry, you don't need to be a mechanic to figure this out. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the 5 most common symptoms of a bad TPS, what they mean, and how you can tell the difference between a failing sensor and something else. Stick around till the end, the last one is the sneaky sign that most people completely miss. Before we dive in, take a quick second to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon. That way you'll never miss my weekly car repair tips, quick fixes, and secrets that save you money at the shop. Alright, let's get right into it. So first, what exactly does the throttle position sensor do? Think of the TPS as the translator between your right foot and your car's computer. It tells the ECU exactly how far the throttle plate is open, basically, how much air the engine is breathing in. The ECU then adjusts the fuel, timing, and transmission shifts based on that signal. When the TPS starts failing or sending the wrong readings, the entire fuel-air balance gets confused, and that's when your car starts acting weird. Let's talk about what those warning signs look like. Symptom number one, hesitation or delay when accelerating. This one is usually the first sign drivers notice. You hit the gas and instead of a smooth takeoff, there's a pause, a small lag, or the car jerks before finally moving. That happens because the TPS is sending inconsistent signals to the engine computer. The ECU doesn't know if you're tapping the pedal lightly or flooring it, so it struggles to adjust the fuel mixture correctly. You'll feel it as a hesitation, a flat spot, or even a small surge right after. It's especially noticeable when merging or pulling away from a stoplight. If you've cleaned your throttle body, if you've cleaned your throttle body recently and the issue persists, odds are it's the TPS itself and not dirt or carbon buildup. Symptom number two, rough or unstable idle. A faulty TPS can make your car idle high, low, or bounce between the two like a heartbeat. That's because even at idle, the ECU still depends on the TPS to confirm that the throttle is fully closed. If the sensor is dirty or internally worn, it might send small voltage fluctuations even when the throttle plate isn't moving. The computer thinks you're giving it tiny bursts of throttle, and your idle jumps up and down. You might also hear the RPMs hunt or dip when turning on the AC or shifting into gear. Sometimes the idle smooths out for a while, then goes rough again, a classic sign of an intermittent TPS signal. Symptom number 3, Sudden Surging or Bucking While Driving Imagine you're cruising at a steady 40 miles per hour and suddenly the car feels like it's lurching forward or cutting back power on its own. That's the ECU reacting to erratic data from the throttle position sensor. It's trying to adjust fuel delivery for throttle openings that don't actually exist. In severe cases, you might even feel the transmission downshift or upshift unexpectedly because the ECU believes you're accelerating or decelerating. This symptom is common on vehicles with electronic throttle control, sometimes it feels like your car is breathing unevenly on the highway. It's annoying, but it's also dangerous if the surge happens during a turn or lane change. Symptom number 4, check engine light or limp mode. When the TPS signal goes completely out of range or stops matching the accelerator pedal position sensor, your car's computer will store a diagnostic trouble code. Common ones include P0120 through P0124, or P2135, which means the ECU has detected a mismatch between throttle sensors. In many cars, that triggers, limp mode, the engine limits power to prevent damage. You'll notice your car barely responds to throttle, or the RPMs won't go past a certain point. If that happens, don't keep pushing the gas, instead, scan for codes right away. Sometimes the problem is just a failing TPS connector or corroded pins, but if the code comes back after cleaning, it's time to replace the sensor. Symptom number 5, Poor Fuel Economy and Sluggish Performance This is the silent wallet drainer that sneaks up over time. When the TPS fails, the ECU can't accurately calculate how much fuel to inject, 
so it often defaults to a rich mixture to play it safe. You'll burn more gas than normal, even if you're driving gently. You might also feel the car lose some of its low-end power or see black soot around the tailpipe, signs of excess fuel. On the flip side, if the TPS tells the ECU the throttle is more open than it really is, you could end up running too lean, leading to misfires or pinging under acceleration. Either way, your mileage drops and your engine efficiency suffers. Now, here's the part most people don't realize, a bad TPS doesn't always mean the sensor itself has died. Sometimes the issue lies in the wiring harness or ground connection. Over time, heat and vibration can crack the insulation or loosen the connector, creating tiny voltage drops that confuse the ECU. So before you replace the sensor, always check the wiring. Wiggle the connector gently with the engine idling, if the RPM changes or stumbles, that's your culprit. Clean the contacts with electrical cleaner and make sure they fit snugly. Another sneaky sign of TPS trouble is hard shifting or delayed gear changes on automatic transmissions. That's because the ECU uses throttle position data to decide shift timing. If the signal is off, the transmission might hold a gear too long or shift too early. Some drivers think they have a transmission problem when it's really the TPS messing with shift logic. So how do you confirm it's the TPS? A quick way is with a multimeter. Unplug the sensor and backprobe the signal wire. With the key on, engine off, you should see a smooth increase in voltage from around 0.5 volts at closed throttle to about 4.5 volts at wide open. If the voltage jumps, drops, or sticks, the sensor's worn out. You can also use an OBD2 scan tool and watch the live data stream, the throttle percentage should rise smoothly as you press the gas. Any sudden spikes or dropouts mean the TPS is failing. Now, if your car shows one or two of these symptoms but not all, that's normal. TPS failures often start small and get worse over time. Early on, you might only feel a slight hesitation or a rare rough idle. But if you ignore it, it can eventually trigger limp mode or cause poor fuel trims that lead to long-term engine wear. So catching it early can literally save your engine from running too rich or too lean. If this helped you diagnose your issue or saved you a trip to the shop, take a quick second to like this video, subscribe, and tap the notification bell. I post weekly guides on diagnosing sensors, improving performance, and saving money with smart car maintenance. Thanks for watching, drive safe, keep your engine happy, and I'll see you in the next one.